four mallets, and one marimba. This is my life. So yes, as I mentioned last week, I am a, a music education major with my main instrument as percussion, so I'm actually in the percussion studio room right now, and as soon as I'm done finishing this video, I will be going back to practicing. Because... Music Ed. I do need to answer the question from last week before I continue. So, the very first video we posted on this channel, Claire had asked us all a question. My question was, if you could be another gender, like, right now, just no questions asked, everybody thinks you were always that gender, would you do that? And for me, I, I, I don't know. I think I would want to definitely know what it's like being the opposite gender, but I'm not sure if I'd want to be that gender for the rest of my life. If after switching genders and then giving the option to like, okay, do you want to continue being this gender or go back to your original gender, you have that choice now, that would be kind of great for me. Because if I had that option to switch back, I would definitely um, take, like, say yes to this question. But because of that, I'm not sure. I'm comfortable being male, it's just, do I remain that gender for the rest of my life and, like, I don't know if I'd be happy with that decision. So moving right along. As you saw, I, I said I play marimba. I also have mentioned playing other instruments, but I do play piano as well. So I want you guys to talk about, like, what instruments, if any, do you play? And that includes singing, if you do, which I also happen to do. I do a lot of that. But what instrument do you play? And also, what instrument do you wish you knew how to play? This is going to be something simple, it's just I want, to know, I want to be able to play the triangle really well. It could be something like that. For me, like I've already mentioned, I, I know how to play a lot of the percussion instruments. I know how to play piano, I know how to play French horn, and I know how to play clarinet, flute, and saxophone, and oboe. Those not as well, just because I haven't been playing them too long. One instrument I wish I knew how to play, though, is the cello. To me, the cello is such a rich instrument that I can't, I quite honestly cannot wait until I have to learn how to play it for one of my classes. I am looking forward to that day, it's going to be so great, but like to me the cello is just something, like I, I wish everybody had access to be able to learn how to play it. Um, and as a music educator I will be able to give that opportunity to, to kids and I, I think that's really great. Um, maybe, and like, they want to want to learn how to play the cello, but as a music educator, I can give them access to the instruments they want to learn how to play. And for me, music is something that everyone has the capability of performing in any capacity, and music is what is one of the life's great pleasures, and I, it, like, it, it just makes me proud to be able to think that I'm going to hopefully inspire kids to continue music and continue this tradition of music in our worlds and it's just something everybody should be able to do and I'm kind of rambling now at this point. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today. I just want to talk quickly about different facts about our solar system because why not? Did you know the solar system was formed 4.6 billion years ago? Or that 99.86% of our solar system's mass comes from the sun? Well, we all know that Pluto was officially declared a dwarf planet and not a full planet. Rest in peace, Pluto. You will be missed. But did you know there are four other dwarf planets in our solar system? Their names are Ceres, Haumeres, Makabeke and Ares. And I probably just butchered those names terribly, so you'll find a link of, in the description of where I'm getting all these facts. So that's it for today. Until I see you guys on Saturday, I will sign off for now. Bye.